what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in today's video i'm going to be discussing the recent um information that anthony michael hall kind of disclosed during a recent podcast he had where he basically stated that our former tommy doyle paul rudd who played tommy doyle in the 1996 or 1995 horror film halloween the curse of michael myers he said that that Tommy Doyle or that actor who played Tommy Doyle, Paul Rudd, gave Anthony Michael Hall his blessing in regards to being interested in seeing what Michael Hall is going to bring forth to the role of this character. Um, going to be dishing into that today. So in a recent interview, Anthony Michael Hall, who we know is set to star in the upcoming film Halloween Kills, the sequel to the to the moderately successful or widely successful rather 2018 ha Halloween that's all it was called just Halloween um, some people call it Halloween H4O but in the interview Anthony Michael Hall basically said that he got a text on one of his days off from David Gordon Green who is the director and also one of the writers uh, for Halloween Kills who also worked on the previous film he said that David sent him a text saying that hey I got it I heard from Paul Rudd and he's telling me that he's excited to see what you bring to the table uh, he's giving you his blessing in regards to taking up the role that he last portrayed all the way back in Halloween the Curse of Michael Myers because this would be the first time we are seeing this character or even getting any mention of this character um, in in the original timeline anyway in the and when I say the original timeline, I'm talking about anything that's non Rob Zombie. Uh, this is the first time we are seeing Tommy Doyle since Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. So with that being said, it's kind of nice to see that Paul Rudd is giving Anthony Michael Hall his blessing. But in another way, it's like I don't really see the um, I, I never really saw the appeal with how Paul Rudd portrayed Tommy Doyle. I felt like the way Tommy Doyle came across in halloween six the curse of michael myers that was that wasn't something that i felt was was an organic progression for his character after going through what he went through as a young child with laurie strode it didn't feel like something tommy doyle would be like um I, but many people make the same argument about how laurie about laurie strode in the 2018 film but i feel like there's more arguments to say that yes she very well might have ended up like that since she was 17 years old when this happened tommy was tommy was a young kid it's just it felt very un it's something about the way his character came off in the sixth film always bothered me paul rudd's performance i don't i wouldn't say was necessarily bad but it's just the way that the the way the character came off he just seemed very odd and out there and i didn't i didn't feel like that was anything like what tommy Doyle would be like so many years down the road and then what's and then what bothers me about it is the fact that I believe Tommy Doyle was in Halloween 4. I think that character was in Halloween 4. I don't know if these if they were ever really confirmed to be Tommy Doyle and Lindsay Wallace, but in Halloween 4, there are characters that we see who are named Tommy and another one who is named Lindsay. Now, for years, people have been saying that that was Tommy Doyle and Lindsay Wallace. Now, if that's Tommy Doyle and Lindsay Wallace, why does Tommy come across one way here and then some, he comes across as something completely different and only one film later or two films later in Halloween 6? I just didn't really like the way that um, Tommy Doyle was portrayed, not portrayed, or the way he was characterized in Halloween 6. I feel like Paul Rudd's performance for what it was and what he was given to work with in regards to how they wanted Paul or Tommy Doyle to come across, I guess he did a phenomenal job. Uh, Paul Rudd certainly is not a bad actor. I just never really cared for that whole that whole role that Tommy was Tommy Doyle was in in the sixth film. I don't really like it. Um, I thought that his character was very odd and not. It just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like that was where Tommy Doyle would end up in uh, the years since the 1978 events. I'm interested to see what Anthony Michael Hall is going to bring to the table i'm trying i really want to see how this has affected um everybody i like that what this film is doing or what these films are doing is focusing on the trauma of not just Lori now but the effects that that night had on the people that she was with tommy doyle lindsey wallace um sheriff brackett anyone else who might show up i'm really excited to see what anthony michael hall can do because i feel like whatever we get from him in this film is going to be the most 
is going to be the most near perfect progression uh, and something more realistic for how Tommy Doyle would have ended up so many years later. Something about the way Paul Rudd and the way his character was written in the sixth film, it just never really sat sat well with me. So I'm not I'm I'm really me personally, I'm I'm glad he's not coming back. Not to say that that's how he would have been portrayed again if he were to have come back, but something about that sixth film and the way Tommy Doyle was written and the way he was uh, portrayed, it just never really sat right with me. It didn't it didn't feel correct. It didn't feel like anything that was natural to how Tommy Doyle would be that's just me personally let me know what you guys think about about Paul Rudd giving his blessing to Anthony Michael Hall are you excited to see what he brings to the table in this film uh what are you not excited about for Halloween Kills also in the description or in the comment section rather I am going to have a link to this Facebook group that I have started um if you would like to have some details on the future of the Jeepers Creepers franchise please join that group again it's going to be linked in the comment section at the bottom below um, there is an individual in this group who is answering any and all questions that you have regarding the future of the Jeepers Creepers franchise. In the description of this video, I have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And with that all being said, guys, I will see you in the next video.